Dear brothers and sisters, uh, so we have heard the gospel. Narinig po natin yung uh, pagbasa ng Ebanghelyo. At sinabi ng ating Panginoon, A little while you will see me, but uh, uh, a little while you will see me again. Um, you will uh, weep. Magtatangis uh, kayo. Pero magkakaroon kayo ng kaligayahan. Now, they were asking to themselves, What does our Lord mean? By a little while, you will not see me. But a little while, you will see me. You will be sad. But later, you will uh, be joyful. Ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, mga kapatid, ay tungkol sa kanyang uh, paghihirap at uh, kamatayan. At uh, yun po ang sinasabi na you will be uh, sad, we will, you, you will be in grief, <coughs> but afterwards you will rejoice, you will be joyful. Well, you will be joyful because Christ will rise from the dead. So, yan po ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. At dito makikita natin that uh, our Lord suffered uh, terribly so much. And after his suffering, there would be joy and happiness. So, Gustong sabihin ng ating Panginoon, brothers and sisters, that uh, sa buhay niya at sa buhay natin ay ganyan nangyayari. May mga kalungkutan, may mga kabiguan, may mga paghihirap, may mga pagsubok sa buhay. But uh, if we persevere like what our Lord did, that despite all the sufferings, well, uh, the end was uh, really uh, was really a joy. You know, to cite an example, when <clears throat> we in our family, um, five children, um, when we were all going to college, going to study. Um, our father and, of course, our mother were very, uh, very uh, sad because, especially our father, eh, uh, nakikita niya na we were all going to college and uh, mahirap pong uh, yung mga sabay-sabay na mag-aaral. And my father, well, who did not uh, really have uh, enough to spend for our matriculations, uh, malungkot po siya at uh, nahihirapan. At alam ninyo yung father namin ay uh, talaga naman madaling madiscourage. But uh, uh, anyway, somehow, uh, after one, after the other, um, graduated from college, well, uh, alam ninyo ay uh, uh, masaya yung father namin dahil uh, uh, it was a success in the sense that we all finish our college, uh, our college uh, education. So you see, my dear brothers and sisters, that there is this, uh, uh, there is this a sadness. Yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, the grief that you have to go through suffering. But then once you succeeded, then there is joy. There is this uh, happiness. At alam naman natin, mga kapatid, na there is this cycle always of this tinatawag natin passion, death, and resurrection in our life yung PDR, like in the case of our Lord Jesus Christ. Na hindi ba mayroong 
mga pagsubok, maraming mga paghihirap. Pero if we just persevere and do our best, then uh, we will also we will also reap uh, a success, and also we will be joyful. You know, um, of course, it is not always like this. Dahil mayroon ding mga pagsubok that we have somehow to um, to uh, be patient and even to uh, give way. For example, uh, <clears throat> Mayroong isang ang asawa da yung kanyang asawang lalaki ay uh, may bisyo at ang bisyo po niya ay uh, pag-iinom no um, so palaging uh, umuwi ng uh, umuwi ng uh, gabi na at uh, lasing and well of course the wife was always uh, very sad na ganun ang nangyayari. Kaya, she would always uh, try to help him na sana magbago, magbago siya to be converted. Ayun, sinabi niya sa uh, pare, yung kanyang uh, um, advisor, um, Father, papaano ba ito? I always try to help my husband, but uh, uh, I cannot. I cannot do anything. I cannot change him. Then, sabi nung pare, uh, well, uh, alam mo na uh, kung ganyan ang nangyayari, siguro mabuti na uh, uh, do not try to uh, change him. You know, don't try to abruptly change him from his vice of drinking. But what you should do is to change yourself, your attitude towards your husband who is uh, drinking. And of course, you pray for him. So the wife uh, um, tried it and uh, he prayed over it also. At uh, alam niyo po ay uh, nakita niya na may pagbabago dahil yung uh, asawa ay hindi na masyadong binubungangahan din ano, yung kanyang uh, asawa. So because of that and because of her prayers, somehow she changed her attitude and also the husband changed his uh, uh, bad uh, drinking. So you see, uh, sometimes uh, we just have to uh, not change a person, but change ourselves, our attitude towards a person. Maybe it might be uh, your spouse, might be uh, somebody who has a very difficult uh, a difficult uh, way to relate with others. No? Kung hindi mo mapapalitan kaagad, then you have to change your attitude towards that person. And of course, to pray for him or her. My dear brothers and sisters, there will always be uh, is uh, sufferings that come into our life and uh, like I said a while ago uh, our Lord Jesus Christ had a share of this but after his sufferings and death there was this glorious resurrection so sana po ito ang uh, mensahe ng ating Panginoon sa buhay natin, hindi natin makakaligtaan, hindi natin maaalis ang mga paghihirap, ang mga kabiguan, ang uh, the challenge always for us to rise.
from our sufferings and from our spiritual dying and also but at the end our glorious resurrection if you suffer and die with Christ you will enter into his glorious resurrection amen <laughs>